Hey, how's it going everyone? Hope you guys are all doing well. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Burton Flight Attendant Snowboard. And in this video, I'm gonna go through all the tech and I'll share my thoughts on how it felt out on the mountain as well. All right guys, the Flight Attendant is gonna be a more all mountain free ride focused kind of board on the Burton lineup. It runs an overall directional shape. So outside these front contact points here, you're gonna have a longer nose than tail. And it also has some other directional features built into it as well. So you are gonna find a directional camber profile on this snowboard, and it's like a shifted camber. It runs positive camber from that rear contact point, going all the way out to just about outside your front foot, where you're gonna get a rockered release out into the nose. Overall, it's gonna have that camber dominant feel, that more precise, powerful, energetic feel that you get out of the camber, but has that rocker in the nose to help you out if you do take this board into powder and also help give you a little bit easier turn initiation. One cool thing about this type of camber profile is that when you're on hard pack or any situation where you're uh, creating tension in the snowboard, weighting that camber is gonna actually help that rocker nose rise up a little bit more to help give you a little bit more benefit in that powder and that soft snow. So this board does have a taper and a setback, a 10 millimeter taper, so that tail is narrower than the nose, as well as a 35 millimeter setback. So the reference stance is actually shifted a little bit closer uh, to the tail of the snowboard. So quite a bit of directionality going on in the flight attendant. You're also gonna get some other great tech in this board like Burton's squeeze box tech, which is a milling of the core where it's thicker and thinner in certain zones to help give it a more natural flex for what this board is designed to do. You're also gonna get their Infinite Ride, which is basically like a pre-broken in snowboard. They put it in a machine that kind of breaks it in for you to give it that consistent feel. Right from day one, there's not gonna be a break-in period. You're obviously also gonna get the channel system on all Burton boards, so you have that uh, fully customizable stance width options. If you run them with the Burton EST bindings, you have a fully customizable stance as well as a really great board flex. That's kind of the idea behind the EST and channel system. But you can run any bindings on it. I actually mounted my unions on this snowboard for the test. Other than that, you're also gonna find their centered WFO base on this board, which is a higher end base and it's known to be faster, harder, and more durable. But you're gonna to wanna to make sure to keep up with waxing to maintain that consistent glide that you want out there. So I started off the test out at one of my favorite tree zones at Keystone. There was about 20 inches of snow built up in there and it's a pretty mellow pitch. So I think that's a pretty good powder test because it's not super high speed. There were some drops in there as well. And I feel like this board held up really well in there. You know, all these directional features coming together, everything from that directional nose, giving you more surface area up the front, the setback shifting your weight naturally further towards the tail, the 10 millimeters of taper as well, just all came through helping this board stay on top of that softer snow and also gave some nice maneuverability going through the trees. That combination of the directional shape giving you a shorter tail outside the contact points combined with the setback just making that tail shorter overall really helps give this board some nice maneuverability for finding those tighter lines. But it's still going to offer some nice stability for drops or higher impact situations where you need that tail to come through for you. I also think that rocker nose makes a noticeable difference for powder drops. Just doesn't make you work as hard out there. Once you land, the board just kind of naturally wants to swoop back up on top of the powder without making you work too hard for it. Another highlight for me with the flight attendant was carving. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I'm a fan of the feeling that you get in boards that combine those directional features with some positive camber in the profile. And that's something that you definitely find here in the flight attendant. I felt a nice smooth transition from edge to edge. And once you did have that board on edge, it had a really locked in precise feel to it. This is the type of board that you can carve pretty fast on. You can get it up to speed confidently. You're not gonna get a bunch of chatter in it. It's gonna have a nice stable in control feel for you. It's not crazy aggressive, but I did get this board going pretty fast and it felt very comfortable. It definitely has a stability to back up that type of riding, that more intense kind of carving. For reference guys, I weigh around 150 pounds and I rode this board in a 156 and I felt the flex to be a little bit on the stiffer side of medium and a little bit of a directional flex as well, which is a common feel in these boards that have these directional features, particularly that shorter tail. There's just not as much board to flex in the tail, so it feels a little bit stiffer, but that's going to come through with some nice stability when you are in those higher impact scenarios 
or carving at higher speeds like we were just talking about. With that being said, this isn't a very buttery snowboard. It's got that feel to it when you're trying to get that flex where it's kind of fighting back. It's not gonna make it easy on you to get those taller presses or those butter tricks going. You're gonna to have to be pretty on point with it. But on the flip side, you can get a lot of pop and energy out of this snowboard. Pretty much any energy you're putting in to get that flex going, it's gonna give right back to you. So I'd say definitely some solid pop out of the flight attendant. I did take this board through a couple park laps out of A51, and I'd say it is a little bit more jump leaning when it comes to actually riding in the terrain park. Can absolutely still hit rails with it, but it's a little bit stiff. It's the kind of board where if you get out over the nose or tail, it's gonna hang on really well. It's not gonna flex out on you. But the main thing I wanna highlight is the stability that you're gonna find on jumps. So if you are out there trying to hit the park on this board, you're gonna be able to hit those larger features confidently and know that this board is gonna have the stability to back you up out there. It's still gonna be a good time for some afternoon park laps if that's something you find yourself out there doing, but I'd be focused more on looking for natural features and drops and doing that type of freestyle riding on this board more so than like proper park laps. Overall, I found the flight attendant has a somewhat aggressive feel to it. It's probably better suited for you more experienced riders. It's gonna be a great all mountain board coming through with lots of stability. It's gonna be great for carving. It's gonna have some good pop. Still gonna help you out in powder. Solid choice for going out there and hunting natural features and that type of stuff and still gonna be fairly freestyle friendly, so it won't throw you off completely if you are out there doing some park laps. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, definitely check out the Burton Flight Attendant. I'll have it linked down in the description if you wanna read a little bit more about it. Let me know if you've had a chance to ride this board or if you feel like I left anything out, you can leave any questions for me down in the comments. Make sure to drop a like if you got some value out of this video and make sure to subscribe for more snowboard reviews and snowboard videos coming soon. I really appreciate it guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Later guys.